Hey y'all, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and I'm really excited because I ordered some succulent seeds um, from a company in Serbia called unusualseeds.net, and they finally arrived. And there's so many amazing little packages. Just have a look at that really quick. All oh, these little tiny Ziploc bags, labeled so carefully. Just bunch of different tiny little seeds in there. Some of them are just the size of dust and then the others they're a little bit bigger thank goodness um there's all kinds of lithops mixes there's a conophytum mix this is a rebutia um i did put a poll on my youtube community channel page thing um to see what you guys wanted to watch me pot up and so we're definitely going to be doing the lithops um i'm going to be doing the Dioscoria, and then I'm also going to do, hmm, I think the Astrophytum mix, and then maybe some Conophytums, Conophytums too. Okay, I'm really excited about these. I've only started Aloe, Cactus, um, I'm trying to think of what other seeds I've started. Oh, Euphorbia. Um, but there's like Echeveria Laui in here. I've never started Echeveria seeds. Maybe I need to do some of those too. Normally when I'm starting seeds, I don't really go through the trouble of sterilizing the soil, but I am going to take that extra step this time. Um, kind of a, a low, a lo-fi sterilization, I guess you'd say, just using boiling water and um, getting the trays set up and ready to pot. And uh, once that's done, we're going to start sowing the seeds and um, in a couple of weeks or so, we should see some kind of progress, hopefully, and I'll do a little follow-up video. Um, so just be sure you subscribe to this channel so once I get that update video ready, um, you won't miss out. So right now I've got boiling water and a bucket of dirt and I'm going to pour that all the way over the dirt. Just kind of let it soak, let it get in there. I really don't want to bake this in my oven or in my microwave because the smell can get really crazy. So over here we're just soaking the containers we're going to be using in hot water with some bleach. Um, they've been here for a minute so I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off and we'll be ready to start potting our seeds. I'm going to add a little more, boiled some more water. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there just for good measure. I'm going to be doing some pretty sensitive seeds. I'm going to let that soak. I'm going to dump it all out and let it drain. Tiger. The tiger's gonna help. <laughs> I added holes to the bottom of the little yogurt cups um, using a little exacto knife. Just poke it down in a little bit and then start twisting it. And it's gonna make a hole. And you want to make sure you do it from the inside out so that the holes, um, the excess plastic gets pushed out instead of up and in or else that'll just trap the water in and we'll have a way to get out. Now to strain the water out of that soil, um, we could just we dump it out and let it dry somewhere, but um, I have cut a pillowcase in half and put it down inside of a bucket and I'm just going to dump it in there and it's going to be like making a big uh, pour over coffee except for we're going to be using dirt. Okay, so we've got our dirt and we have our seed trays ready and I'm going to start filling that up and I'm really going to make it easy. Just scoop it and fill it in like that. 
pat it down. Okay, and we want to leave some room at the top so when we water, um, it doesn't flood the container and everything comes running out. Been there, done that. And we're going to fill the plug tray. That's what those are called, plug trays. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put a layer of some drainage material in the bottoms of these just because they are kind of deep. They're good. Okay, about that deep and a lot of these seeds only need about that much dirt. I'm just going to use a little mixture of turfus and pumice and just put a little layer down in there. Now this dirt does have drainage materials in it, turfus, pumice, expanded shale. So I'm going to pack it down in there pretty well. Yeah. Clean it up a little bit. That looks awesome. Now we are ready to pop this up. Let's get our seeds. So now all that's left to do is to get some of these babies in the dirt, cover them up, tuck them in, put them under the grow lights, and wait. <laughs> um, I think first of all, let's go with the Dioscoria elephantite peas, tipes, pipes. We'll just call it tipes. Now these form a really amazing codex, but of course it's going to take years. Um, it's supposed to form a little codex maybe about an inch within the first year or two and you leave them buried underground and then um, pull them up after a few years to expose the codex and these have what's called they said um, I was looking at the instructions on the website these little wings luckily it's not a windy day today um, we want to go ahead and pull those off so I'm gonna get a little container so nothing flies away I'm just gonna peel off that little extra part of the pod and there's not that many in here so I think what I'm gonna do is use one of the little yogurt containers that I have set up it should be easy to keep up with and then we'll be sure to label the containers we have one you don't want to put the make the holes too deep maybe Maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. These are bigger seeds. Thank goodness. We just drop it down in the hole. Do that again right here. Let's do one in the middle. Drop that one down in the hole. And then one more right here. Okay. And that is it for the Dioscoria. We'll just put that on there right now and then I'll probably tape it to the container later. All right, who is next? There's a bacteria mix. Let's see, how about Oh my gosh, look how tiny these seeds are. Let's go with the cone of items and we're going to do those in the other little yogurt container. I think it might be easier to put these on a piece of paper first and then do that. Let's see. We'll do it over the pot just in case we get a breeze before then. But I'm going to take, open the bag, okay? And I'm going to sprinkle them on this paper. Can you all see that? Thanks. Okay. Here we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm just pushing it down a little bit, hoping that they get buried down in the soil enough. And they will. Plus, it's still pretty damp. And then make sure there's none on my fingers. Conum items done. Put those right there. 
Man, I really want to try some echeveria. I've never started echeveria from seeds. Let's go for it. Let's do... Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Okay. Echeveria Laui looks even smaller than the conophytum. Oh, great. <laughs> so for the little guys that are this small, again, I'm gonna use my little piece of paper, and I'm gonna come back in and sprinkle a thin layer of um, what I call soft sand on top. i just use a sifter to make a layer of really fine dirt to cover them up. Okay. This is where, oh my gosh, does it look like I'm just like pretending? I swear there's seeds in here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, they are so small. I better hurry before a breeze comes. Yes, there are seeds there. Okay, and then let's tap a few into here. And then we'll tap a few into here. And then we'll tap a few into here. What else should we do? I'm going to save uh, this top row over here for Lithops. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Lithops mix 20. It's actually bigger. The Lithops seeds are bigger than the Echeveria. So, one, two, three, four, Lithops. I think I'm gonna get a pencil and make a little note on there. Lithops. Lithops. Okay, let's do the Astrophytum and then I think I'm gonna do these Syningia after that. Thank goodness these are bigger. See this? Look how tiny that is. I think I'm gonna put three in each hole. Two, three. Let's do four just in case. We'll go ahead and put one more in here. I'm gonna put these back in the bag. Oh, these might be the smallest yet. Oh my gosh. This is not something to do outside on a windy day. Luckily, it's not windy at all. all right. Wish me luck. It looks like about four in there. Oh my gosh. I think we're just gonna get this three. There. <laughs> okay, and that was the Syningia. Let me put that here. I feel like I should just do another Lithops mix. Okay, and I'm just going to put some little pebbles to help me keep up with the ones that I don't need to fill up. Um, I can always come back and add more seeds to these when I'm done. I'm gonna make some soft sand. I'm just gonna sift out the rocks, and apply a really thin layer over the tops of the seeds. Start with this guy. There we go. Perfect. It's best to use the dry stuff for this step. This wet soil does not sift very easily. And that's good right there. Come back with some more. Now, it's very humid in Houston. Even right now it's very humid, but I still am going to have to um, cover these with some type of plastic to keep them moist. And you don't want the let to let the soil 
dry out um, for too long, like maybe a day tops on the on the new seedlings, and then you start building up how long they can go without uh, being moist. But after you germinate, most of the times, most of the plants after germination, you can remove any plastic covering, so they start getting tougher and get used to, you know being succulents and not wet all the time. Okay, good. Just a little old bronzer brush. Comes in so handy. Make sure it's even all over. And then we'll use a mister to moisten the top layer so we don't disturb the little seeds down in there. My little spritzer bottle. I've had this forever. Okay, there we go. If you want to be extra careful, you can use distilled water, but this is rainwater. And um, again, I'm, you know, I'll baby them to a certain point, but they're gonna have to be tough. Houston is a tough climate, and. If you want to survive here as a plant, you gotta try. You gotta fight. Alright, I'm gonna finish that up. You can also use like a little dropper, like aspirator type thing. But I would still use the mister first. I wanna get it soaked all the way through without making the seeds float to the top. Now, for our plastic covering, I'm just going to use a little uh, dry cleaner bag for my husband's shirts. And um, I want to put, make sure that it doesn't make contact with the seeds. So I'm going to use one of these unused pods. I'm going to stick something in it so it'll raise the bag up. What can we use? Let's get creative. Hmm. This little kebab skewer. Um, we'll put one right there. And then we'll put one over here. Now I'm just gonna slip it into this bag. And I'm gonna leave it open on both sides. But it's still gonna trap a lot of humidity in there. I already have a spot ready for them under my grow lights. We'll put them there now. And there we have it. And I'm going to try not to look at these 20 times a day or else it'll make it just seem like forever for them to germinate. But. I do have to water them and keep them moist, probably um, let them get settled into their little um, pods for a couple of days and then give it a good watering. And I might even water from the bottom up. Um, I'm really excited about these. I have a lot of other seedlings that have been doing really well. All these guys. These are all my cactus, different cactus seedlings. And I love those. And I forgot I did start some yucca. That's yucca. And then the euphorbia. It was a mystery seedling. It just popped up in a pot. In fact, it popped up in this pot. And he is just, just such a fun little thing. Let's see, can you get it? You see that little guy? Oh my gosh. The euphorbia polygona. This is a lot of fun. And I was so excited to get these seeds, um, even though it's going to take, again, a couple of years before we probably even tell what any of them are. Maybe not that long for some of them, for the lithops and whatnot, but the, the, the uh, codex are going to take a, a while. So, I'll be doing a lot of follow-ups. Wish me luck, and thanks for watching.